how does it go powering up one bourbon one scotch one beer <clears throat> he comes home who are his friends right he's got the uh, the ed educator he's got the government worker he's got the the police officers and he's got the EAP uh, most likely one of them is a lawyer and I haven't been told but it depends sometimes what their name is. And then when I find out their name and I know I see another connection that I didn't see before. Um, I don't know if it's just happening to me. That's it. That's the only friends. But then they start, uh, for what, how many years now? Five, six years? Uh, consistently. At each fall. And unless they have children going to university and he's been mixed up with them. And they're trying to put their children out of the house. And it falls back on me because their children are requiring me to, to do better at school or something. But um, consistently, I've been dodging this. But this is where a lot of the, um, how can you speak to it? How can you criticize it? How can you say what they really look like? How can you say what it feels like? Obviously, you know, you don't have anything anymore. You don't have colleagues. You don't have any security. And there's nowhere really to talk. And no way to get it out to your child. Because in conversations with family and uh, friendships and associates, uh, you just can't get to the spot where that will come out and be uh, spoken easily and carefully and confidentially and quietly or, or non-confidentially or just, you know, shouldn't we think about this or what do you think of this without, you know, that person who always counteracts you and um, demeans you but comes from a, a, a thought grouping or a political grouping or a religious or non-religious grouping that doesn't allow people to be safe, really.